yogis, welcome to Beyond Body with Abigail. In today's session, we will be working on our sacral chakra called Svadhisthana, which exists between our belly button and our lower spine. Ever heard the expression that we hold our emotions in our hips? That's because this part of our body is often congested because we're always sitting at a desk. So we're going to work out of the hips and lengthen this part of the body and open it up so it can really get some fresh blood, fresh energy into that space. This chakra is related to our emotions, how we relate to emotions of other people and how we relate to emotions of ourselves. So you can expect a lot of stretches which will be held for a couple of seconds such as the pigeon pose or the wide angle forward fold stretch. The pace of the class might slow down at this point of the session. I would like to invite you to get comfortable, grab your mat and I will see you in a minute. We'll be starting in our child's pose. So get comfortable opening your knees as wide as the mat and bringing your big toes to touch. Walk your hands forward to the front edge of your mat. Turn your palms up and relax your forehead to the mat. We're just going to start by grounding our thoughts, grounding our mind and becoming aware of our own bodies. Taking this moment just to get into ourselves, to quiet the internal chatter in our minds, to feel how our skin feels on our bodies, and to tune into our breath. Nothing is forced. Everything is just natural and organic. If your palms need to be down, go ahead and place them down. Taking a couple of breaths here just to bring your awareness into the four corners of your mat today. Tuning in with your senses, whether that's a sense of hearing, taste, noticing the sounds around you, noticing the belly expand and contract with every inhale and exhale. Taking one more cycle of breath here. And we're going to turn this child's pose into a little bit more of an active pose. So walk your fingertips forward while maintaining your forehead on the mat. Walk your fingertips forward. So just to start to get that stretch along the side body. Like you have a, a string pulling you forward and a string pulling you back. Cup your fingertips, pressing the fingertips into the floor and lifting your palms, the base of your palms up to the sky. You'll start to feel this movement go into the shoulders, the upper back. And if you want, walk your fingertips even further forward. One more in-breath here. And relax it out. Start to walk your hands towards your forehead. Start to lift your forehead up to the sky. Keep your gaze down to the mat. So pressing your fingertips into the floor, keeping this pose of the child's pose, the legs, we're going to do cat and cow in this position. So we're going to inhale, look up, lift the spine, stick your base of your spine away. So you're sticking this part of your bum out to the sky. Exhale, round the spine, look towards your belly button. Inhale, look up. Exhale, curve the spine, look down. 
We're going to do two more. Inhale, look up. And exhale, look down. One more. Inhale, look up. And on your ex exhale, come into tabletop position, planting the hands on the floor. Start to circle the base of your spine in one direction, bringing movement into the lower body. Feeling the space, feeling the skin as it stretches in the lower body and then reverse. Tuck your toes under, press back into a down dog. Pressing the heels, pressing the toes, pressing the palms of the hands into the floor. From here, lift your heels high, look forward and walk your feet to the front edge of your mat, coming into a halfway lift. Now here is optional, you can keep your feet wide or you can bring your toes and heels to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, soften the spine forward and roll one vertebra at a time all the way up to mountain pose. Checking how your weight is distributed between your toes and your heels, maybe shifting your weight forward and back. We're going to start with a um, sun salutation. So inhale, lift your arms up to the sky, stretch your hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Look forward. Bend the knees. Press the hands into the floor. Find your plank position. Drop your knees. Untuck your toes. Chest and chin down to the floor. Press into cobra. Shoulders roll back. Tuck the back toes under. Press back, downward facing dog. Lifting the right leg up, look forward, bend the knee and step the foot forward. Dropping the back knee, come into crescent lunge. Place the hands on the floor, press back, down dog. Now lift the left leg up, look forward, step the foot in between the gap. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, crescent moon. Place the hands on the floor, step the right foot forward, inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees, exhale as you roll through the spine. Mountain pose. One more, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Udanasana. Place the hands on the floor, step back into plank. Drop your knees, your chest and your chin. Inhale, lift up into cobra, rolling the shoulders back. Plant the toes, press back, downward facing dog. This time lift the left leg up, bend the knee, step the foot forward. Drop the back knee down, untuck the toes, crescent moon. Place the hands back, press back down dog. Lift the left leg, right leg up. Look forward, step the foot in between the gap. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant the hand, step the foot forward. Halfway lift, look up. Exhale, forward bend, rolling through the spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way up to mountain. One more round. Inhale, lift the arms up. Maybe add a little back bend as you dive forward. Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Inhale. On your exhale, step the feet back into high plank. Knees, chest and chin lower down. Inhale. Maybe this time we go into upward facing dog with your heels, with your knees lifted off the floor, pressing the palms into the hand into the floor, press back, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up, bend the knee, step the foot forward. Drop the back knee, inhale, lift. 
exhale hands down press back down dog lift the left leg up look forward step the left foot forward drop the back knee inhale lift exhale plant the hand step the right foot forward halfway lift Ardha Uttanasana exhale forward bend soften the knees and rolling through the spine mountain pose inhale lift exhale fold inhale halfway lift exhale plank inhale here exhale knees chest and chin inhale lift exhale press back this time the left leg lifts bend the knee look forward step that foot forward and drop the back knee down inhale lift exhale lower the hands press back down dog right leg lifts inhale step forward exhale inhale lift exhale down tuck the back toes under inhale step the foot forward halfway lift exhale forward fold staying here now option you can either keep your feet two fist distances apart or you can bring your feet together and grab a hold of your elbows ragdoll hanging forward moving your shoulder side to side just feeling into the body here as you've warmed up and your blood is rushing to all the parts of your body taking a couple of breaths here maybe shift your weight forward and back grounding into the toes grounding into the heels now drop the hands soften the knees and gently roll through the spine bring your feet together inhale lift your arms up exhale forward fold now inhale halfway lift exhale bend the knees and step the right foot back so that you come in a high lunge with your back heel lifted pulling up the thigh looking forward now drop the back knee down and untuck the toes perhaps you need to move that right knee further back coming into quite a deep lunge here bringing both hands in front of the foot looking forward we're stretching into the hip flexor so you can stay here look forward or drop your elbows down into the floor really letting the weight of your pelvis press forward taking a couple of breaths here careful that you're not sinking forward you want to keep the spine lengthened and engaged although we're holding these postures all the postures are active um, asanas that we want to lengthen the spine as well as strengthening the spine now from here press your hands into the floor bring your hands onto your knees from here press your knees away and press that right hip forward now bring your left elbow onto your knee tuck the back toes under swing the right arm up stretch that arm up to the sky and swing that arm towards the back as if you want to reach for the calf of that back leg and look up we're going to do one more circle arm goes up now lift that back leg up grab the back foot and for the first session we're just going to hold this leg here really sinking the hip forward sinking the pelvis forward place the hand back on the floor now from here walk that left foot out to the side edge of your mat place the left hand on the inside of that thigh pressing the knee away
Now from here, lower the foot down and walk the foot back to the center of the mat. Tuck your back toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Looking forward, lift the heels and walk your feet towards the front edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift the spine all the way up to standing. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step the left foot back, coming into a high lunge, maybe bringing your fingertips onto the floor. And now drop the back knee down, untucking the toes. Stepping your hands to the front of the foot, lifting the heart, really sinking the hips forward. If you want, you can drop your elbows down. Again, lengthening the spine, looking forward towards your fingertips. Now, step your hands back up and maybe scoot your knee a little bit further back, bringing your right elbow onto the right knee. Swinging that left arm up towards the sky, swinging it all the way back to touch the calf. So you're touching the calf just to open that shoulder and the side body all the way towards the hip. One more circle swings all the way back. You can repeat that or you can lift the back leg, grab the foot from the inside and sink the hips deeper towards the front. Taking a couple of breaths here. release the foot, bring the hands back to the front of the mat. Now walk your feet out to the edge. Place your hand on the inner thigh, just between the knee and the thigh, and press the knee open. You will feel that stretch along the hip here and on the front of that left hip flexor. Press it away. One more deep breath here. And exhale, walk that foot back to the center of your mat. Plant your hands and press back, downward facing dog. Paddling out your dog here, right and left. What does that sensation feel like now in your hips? Do you feel more open? Press your body weight forward into a down, sorry, a plank position pressing the palms, we're going to slowly lower our belly down towards the mat, all the way down, untuck the toes and come into sphinx pose with your palms forward, elbows under the shoulders, lift the heart up to the sky, point the back, pointing your toes back, lifting the chest up, Get, catching your breath here, now press your palms down and just lift the elbows higher. Keep pressing your pelvis down to the floor. Now from here, lift your right leg. It won't go much, um, it won't go very high. I just want you to lift the, lock the knee and lift the leg, holding it here for four counts. Three, two, and relax. Inhale here, exhale. One more in breath, lift the left leg up. It won't go very far for four, Three, two, and one. Relax in breath. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Press your hips back. And come into downward facing dog again. Now from here, we're going to lift that right leg up. Shift your weight forward. Bring the knee towards your nose. Press the foot back towards the sky. Bring the he knee towards the right armpit, press the foot back towards the sky. Bring the knee towards the left armpit. Now from here, you're going to flip your knee open. So we're going to prep for a wild thing, but first you're going to open that hip and you're going to do a couple of circles away from the body. Two more. 
on our last one, we're going to keep the knee up and bring the heel towards that left hip. Maybe look under the armpit. And from here, we're going to flip our dog. So placing the right foot down to the side of your body, press the hips high, lift the heart to the sky. Now looking back down, bring the hands towards the floor. Step that foot all the way forward into a high lunge. Inhale, lift. Open the heart. Exhale, dive forward. Press back, downward facing dog. Maybe paddle out your dog here. You can keep your feet still, do whatever you want to do. One more breath here. And go ahead, lift the left leg up. Bring your weight forward, knee to nose. Pressing it back. Bring your knee forward, knee to left armpit. And press it back. Bring the knee forward towards the right armpit. And press it back. Now from here, we're going to circle it out. So we're making a circle away from the body. To work into the muscles of the hip. Two more here. And on our last one, we're going to open that hip. As if you're prepping to flip your dog, maybe look under the armpit. Opening that left hip flexor, bringing the heel towards the butt. Now from here, shift your weight slightly forward towards your fingertips and bring the foot behind you as you lift that left arm up to the sky, pressing the hips up high. Feeling that stretch along the front body towards the hip flexor. Now looking down, rolling the body forward and this time we're going to meet in a plank position. Drop the knees, the chest and the chin down to the floor. Inhale all the way up to upward facing dog. Press back, down dog. Lift the right leg up. This time bring the knee towards the right armpit. And press it back. Bring the knee towards the center of your chest. And press it back. Bring the knee towards the left armpit. And press it back. Now, step that foot in between the gap. Coming into a high lunge. And drop the back knee. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower the hands. Now, from here, walk that right foot towards the side edge of your mat and for a moment I just want you to have a pigeon pose with the knee lifted lifting the heart high and when you're ready lower that knee down option if you're very open in your hips you can keep your knee parallel to the front edge otherwise pull that foot towards the thigh staying here with your heart lifted now for this pose you want to keep the left hip, which is the one that's closest to the foot, down. And maybe you want to stay here, lifting the waist off the floor. If you're quite open, relax the hips forward and bring your elbows towards the ground. Staying here. If you have a pillow, you can always place the pillow under your forehead to relax your nervous system. Feeling the stretch along the glute area here. This is our pigeon pose. So it has two functions. It has a bit of a compression pose on the one side and it has a hip opening on the other side. So two more cycles of breaths here. And as we prepare, press your hands into the floor, tuck your back toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, bend the knee, bring the knee towards the left armpit. Press back. Bring the knee towards the center of the heart and press back. Bring the knee towards the right armpit and press back. 
Now bring the knee in towards the middle and step that foot forward, coming into a high lunge. Drop the back knee down, lift the arms up, inhale, exhale, press it down. From here, we're going to walk the foot towards the front edge of the mat. And for a moment, just hover that left knee off the mat, staying here, and then drop that knee down, bringing the left foot closer towards the hip, sitting nice and high. Chest up, chin up. And rolling that right hip forward. If you need, you can always place your pillow on the left, um, under the left hip to give yourself a little bit more elevation. And drop your elbows down to the mat. Here as well, you can place the pillow or a block under your forehead. These are always props we want to have ready in our yoga practice, whether it's a block, a big book, a pillow. Taking a few breaths as you feel the stretch into the left hip, down the right thigh. And from here, we're going to do a little bit of a variation. So coming up onto your hands. Now roll your hip towards, roll yourself towards the left hip and shift your weight so that you come into a wide seated pose. Yeah. So now pressing your heels away from the body, walking the, the fleshy parts away so you can lift and maneuver yourself around, walking the fleshy parts away, flexing the toes, and from here, placing the, the right hand down, lift the left arm up, reach over towards the right. Coming all the way up, left hand down, right arm lift, side bend. And coming back up to center. Now from here, we're going to walk the hands forward, placing the elbows on the floor, lifting your heart forward, pressing the heels away, pressing the um, back part of your knee towards the mat. a few more breaths here and walking the hands back towards the center now grab your right leg lift it up and drop that knee down towards the ground so you're making a, a letter Z with your legs now pull that foot towards the butt so the foot is closer towards the hip now leaning back I want you to press your hips higher really try and don't sway the hips forward or one hip forward or one hip back. I really want you to look at the alignment of your hips and press your hips level to the sky, pushing your hips high and flexing that left foot. Coming back down, swing that right arm to tap the left foot. Drop the head towards the knee and swinging it back. We'll do one more just like that. Inhale, lift. And exhale, swing that right arm around. Once more, inhale, lift. And exhale, tap the foot. Very good, place the hand back down and step the right foot out. Pripping on the left side, lift the left leg up, drop the knee forward and pull that foot towards the hip. Okay, flexing that right foot away, place the hands behind you, keep your hip an eye on your hip as you try your best to lift your hips level to the sky. Inhale, lift. And exhale, swing the left arm around, tap the right foot. Once more, set it back, inhale, lift. 
lower the hips and exhale tap the foot one more inhale lift and exhale tap the foot very good come to center and swing the foot back we'll do one more where we're walking our hands forward maybe this time you can lower your pelvis lower your belly button all the way down if you have the space tuning in with a breath maybe place the pillow under your forehead and walk your hands back towards the center now take your right foot and swing it to the front of the mat walking your hips towards the middle of your mat moving the fleshy part away flex the toes inhale lift now keeping your feet level twist towards the right open your hands press your left hand against your knee and look back inhale lift and over to the other side try to keep your feet as level as possible so perhaps you have to press the right foot forward inhale come high let's go over towards the right side press the left foot forward as you twist towards the right inhale lift exhale twist inhale lift and this time we're going to go to a forward fold so go wherever your actions ankles toes or if you have a block you can reach a little bit forward lengthening the spine and release as you slide your hands towards the side of your body lift your butt up and bend your knees pressing your hips slightly forward towards your heels reach your hands forward and slowly curling through the spine gazing at the belly button one vertebra at a time bring your upper body towards the mat opening your knees wide relaxing the knees just maybe even move your hips side to side balancing the pelvic area rolling the shoulder blades under opening the heart to the sky and as we prepare to come to the end of the class step your feet up and bring your knees towards your chest in towards your heart squeezing your thighs in and coming into happy baby flex your feet grab your feet from the inside out grabbing the outer blades elbows on the inside of the knees pull the knees in towards your body while pressing the tailbone down yes so we don't want to lift the hips we want to press the hips down while pulling the knees towards the ground softening your eyes Now bring the base of your feet together, bring the um, palms together, clasping your fingers and pull your toes towards your forehead and lift your forehead towards your toes. Taking a couple of breaths here as you gaze between the gap in your legs. Compressing the hips, massaging the lower organs and slowly relax and roll your head down to the mat bringing your knees together take your right leg and twist it over you can stay here or you can hook the right leg under now take your hips lift them up and scooch them to the left drop your left your knees towards the right open your hands in a cactus pose if this is too much you can always release the toes and keep the knee on top of each other twisting in the lower body
Maybe look towards the left shoulder. Or you can keep your head facing the sky. Press yourself up and change the twist. Moving the hips towards the right and dropping the knees towards the left. release, reset your hips, unwind your legs, one more squeeze into your heart center, make yourself full, release, setting yourself up for Shavasana, step your feet out to the edge of the mat, maybe wiggle yourself around, palms facing the sky, rolling the shoulders down, Feeling the body, the skin, your hairs on your body. Noticing the temperature around your hips. We've really worked into that region today, so there, there will be a sense of heat hovering around your pelvic area. Take a deep breath in and just completely exhale and relax the body. Let it melt into the mat. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Relax your shins, your knees, your thighs, your hips, your side body, your back body, your front body, your shoulders, your arms, all the way to the crown of your head. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. feel like you need to stay here longer, place your hands back to the ground. Otherwise, yogis, I'm going to leave you here today. Thank you for practicing with me. And I'll see you next.